Hi guys, Andy here. I've got with me my uh, trusty Nexus 6, currently running 5.0.1. And uh, there's a lot of news about the 5.1 flash coming. And uh, I get a bit bored waiting for OTA, so I figured, well, there must be some way I can put it onto my device without having to reset flash or whatever. Um, there we go, just showing this one 5.0.1. And of course, there is, so I thought I'd take you through it. First of all, we need to get into uh, recovery. So we're going to hold down volume up, volume down, and power. Then we're going to move to recovery. Get the little robot on his back in a second. There he is. Then we're going to press volume up and power, which gives us uh, this menu. Come down to the second one, the camera's not so good at focusing, but it basically says to side load using ADB. We've got some yellow text at the bottom. Again, the camera struggling to focus. It's very tiny text, to be honest. Um, but at this point, we plug in uh, cable. M you must make sure you've got the latest version of ADB. I'm not taking you through how to install ADB and use ADB, but here is ADB, and I'm going to open a command prompt in there. So go and look that up if you need to. How to and if to be honest, if you're not too comfortable with using ADB or haven't used it before, maybe just wait for the OTA. It, it can be dangerous. So ADB device it to check it's there. Then we're going to sideload the zip file that I've linked in the information below, and uh, off it goes. Start transferring the file. I'll be honest, I wandered off to do other stuff while it did this because it can take a bit of time. Like you can see, it's only to seven percent, eight percent. It is, I think it's almost a gig size of file, so it will take a little bit of time. When you get to the end, we're going to warp forward. There we go, it says, look, total transfer 2.03x. And on the device, it says, install from ADB complete. So at the top, the option is to, uh, again, if it will focus, reboot the device. And we're going to choose that with the power button. And it will basically simply boot back up again. And hopefully we're running 5.1 and all of my apps and all of my data and all of my photos and everything will hopefully still be there. We see it does the usual uh, Android is upgrading and it goes through optimizing your apps. This took quite a while. Again, I just left it to it because as you can see, it's not like it's speeding through them in any particular fast rate. I am still encrypted, I should point out if that matters to you. And here we go, it's booted back up. Everything looks to be like it was before. Let's just go and check it has done something. And there we go. I'm now running Android 5.1. And we can see all of my apps are still there. It's a funny see how the bubble remained at the bottom for a second there. But uh, there you go. 5.0.1 up to 5.1. Um, you can ask questions. I'll do my best, but I'm not, you know, I'm not a developer. I'm not that in-depth with the knowledge. I've just, uh, I'll find a way of doing it and I'll show you. My name's Andy. Catch you all soon.